Hello, my name is Craig Gonzalez, and I'm working with Business English HQ and Dr. Frank Bankowski. And in today's lesson, we want to explain common writing errors pronouns. Enjoy! Common mistakes in writing. Today we're going to learn about pronouns, and specifically pronoun problems. Um, pronoun ambiguity, as well as misplaced pronouns. Pronouns that have the wrong subject verb or, or case or whatever it is. Um, fancy talk. Right? So what's wrong with these sentences? Craig told Frank that many readers had written to him. Frank and me plan to write many ebooks in 2013. Neither Frank nor Craig like working long hours. Okay. All of these guys um, use pronouns incorrectly or in an ambiguous way. Ambiguous means you don't know which way it is. Um, think about this. When I'm teaching a class, I have a really funny way. Um, I used to say, Brittany hates Christina because she thinks she has no talent. And then I realized that nobody knows who Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera are because I'm very old. So um, I changed it to, what was it? Justin Bieber hates Kanye West because he thinks he has no talent, right? That's really funny, too. Um, I actually don't like either of them. Kanye makes good beats or whatever, but he's a weird dude. Um, but the point is, who hates whom? We know Bieber hates Kanye, but why? Because he thinks he has no talent. Who thinks Huma has no talent? We don't know. That's why it's ambiguous. So it's a common writing problem for many non-native speakers of English. Um, even native speakers get guilty of this. Like, we make the same mistake. The first sentence uses the pronoun him amb ambiguously. We don't know if it refers to Craig or Frank. You need to rewrite the sentence to make it clear who we're talking about. So the correct sentence is, Craig told Frank that many readers had written to Frank. Now, I know it sounds like, oh gosh, you're saying Frank so many times, but if you just say him, the reader has no idea what's going on. You know, you might say, oh, well, obviously... Craig's telling Frank, so they must be writing to Frank. But what you're doing is you're you're coming up with this like English assumption. I want to do a post on English assumptions because it's it's quite nice because you guys do it all the time. But I won't yet because let's continue the pronouns. The second problem occurs when a pronoun is used with a noun or another pronoun. The best way to avoid this problem is to separate the sentence into two separate sentences. All right? Frank plans to write many ebooks sounds right, but me plan to write many ebooks doesn't, unless you're a comedian trying to make fun of poor English, right? Um, but that's not cool. The sentence should read Frank and I plan to write many ebooks. Why? Well, me is an objective pronoun, okay? So you know how sentences have subjects and then verbs and then objects. I hit the ball. Or I could say, John hit Craig. Okay, well, if Craig is the object and I'm Craig, I would say me. So John hit me. But if I'm hitting the, if I'm hitting John, if I'm the subject of the sentence, I like to call it subjective pronouns, even though that's not, that's not the real name. It's actually nominative pronouns. Um, but that's irrelevant for you, I think. But I would say, I hit John. So you use I if it's the subject of the sentence, and you use me if it's the object of the sentence. So because Frank and Craig are planning to write, Frank and Cla Craig is the subject of the sentence. So that's why you use that subjective pronoun, the I. Cool. Yeah, sorry, I was talking nerd for a second. And I lost my place in my notes. Oh, here we go. The third sentence seems correct, however. The problem is more difficult to analyze. We're dealing with an indefinite pronoun, which in some cases are singular and other cases are plural. The pronoun neither, neither, is always singular. Other examples are each, anyone, everybody, anybody. So neither Frank nor Craig 
likes working long hours. If you want to think about this, what's actually interesting about neither and nor, likes takes the form of the second word. So you see Craig likes, you can just get rid of the front. Because what if you said neither Frank nor the birds? Well, if you said that, neither Frank nor the birds like. So that would be plural. But if you said neither the birds nor Frank, then you would say likes. So the verb it chooses its singularity or plurality based on the, the subject or the noun closest to it. Pretty hard. Pretty fancy. Right? And now you try it. How would you correct these sentences? Everybody likes to share their comments on Business English HQ posts. On a recent post, many readers sent Frank and I great comments. Frank and Craig work very hard, but both works smartly. Nice. I'm not going to give you the answers in this video because I want you to think about this. I want you to try this. And if you want to check your answers, click on the link if you're on YouTube and go to our blog post or to scroll below the video and our answers are at the below at the bottom and if you like your answers if you don't like your answers if you can't figure it out leave a comment and we will help you my name is Craig Gonzalez I co-run business English with Frank Bankowski please ask a question leave a comment or you know let us help you either at smart English HQ on Twitter in the comments in our email doesn't really matter we can help you thank you